but I think in the U.S., the code was helpful to to avoid being able to trace them back, I guess, for safety concerns and for privacy. I think there have been cases or there have been warnings of cases where if you do help someone and then they come back to their original state having had an abortion, they could be prosecuted and then traced back. I think it, they wanted to, to insinuate off the grid and camping just seemed like it was close to being off grid. This idea of this cultural idea that overturning Roe was a biblical or a faith-based decision, that it was God's will for the world not to have safe access to health care for women and not to allow women to choose their, choose for themselves. That's kind of what prompted it because I believe that the way that I understand the Bible, understand God, that it is like it is a faith understanding that we should have access to safe and affordable health care and that women's autonomy to choose is biblical. So I wanted to offer a counter narrative to this cultural narrative that it is faith-based to overturn Roe. But I like to emphasize that these are my views and they don't necessarily reflect the views of the Anglican Diocese of Toronto or the Anglican Church of Canada.